Hello dear friends. Welcome to the channel. Before watching the video, please subscribe to the channel and like it. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex, who are living in California after quitting royal duties, did not travel to the UK for Prince Philip's memorial earlier this week. Harry has only returned to Britain twice since Megxit, while Meghan has remained in Montecito with their children. Pauline McLaren, professor of marketing and consumer research at Royal Holloway, warned the Sussexes brand relies on their royal connections. She said, I think they need to really top up their associations with royalty. Because without their royal connections they really are nobodies in the US, which is where they're trying to establish themselves. I do think their unique selling point to put it in marketing speak, is that they have the sort of humanitarian aim and of course that high profile. But the high profile is really because of their titles and their associations with British royalty. They're developing a kind of rival brand or court or however you like to describe it. But I do think the longer they stay away they lose that royal magic. Professor McLaren, co-author of Royal Fever the British Monarchy and Consumer Culture, added that both the Sussexes and the royal family would really benefit from some kind of reconciliation. She said, Harry and Meghan really need to have these royal connections and maintain them. The royals also need the diversity that the two of them bring, specifically Meghan, it was pretty sad they lost that. Thanks for subscribing and liking. It comes as speculation is high over whether Harry and Meghan will make an appearance at celebrations for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee in June. The couple did not join members of the royal family at the memorial service for the Duke of Edinburgh at Westminster Abbey last Tuesday. The Duke is bringing a claim against the Home Office over a decision not to allow him to pay for police protection while in Britain. Harry wants to bring his two children to visit from the US, but argues it is too dangerous. He insists that his private protection team in the US does not have adequate jurisdiction abroad or access to UK intelligence information which is needed to keep his family safe. The Sussexes lost their taxpayer-funded police protection after quitting as senior working royals in early 2020. Harry and Meghan are now living in the US with their children Archie and Lilibet. For Philip's funeral last April, and the unveiling of a Princess Diana statue at Kensington Palace on July 1st. Write in the comments what you think about this. And at the end of the video I ask you to subscribe and like, thank you.